Hi, welcome to the Big Bear Homestead. And today, in our home maintenance series, we're going to be installing a electrical box. Okay, so today in our home maintenance series, we're changing out an electric box, switch box, outlet box, conduit box, whatever you wanna, whatever name you wanna give it. This is the box that your switch or outlet is supposed to sit in when it's inside the wall so that way your connections are protected and they don't brush up against the wood and start a fire and short out and all that kind of fun stuff. Now, what happened to this particular one when we were remodeling the bathroom, I found that this switch did a did one of those. And so we pulled the box out, then it was one of the boxes that nail in to the stud. We popped it out to try to pull this wire, but because of the way it was done, unfortunately there was no way to reroute this wire. So now, because there's no way to get that box back in and get it secure, we have to replace it with one of these boxes. Now, the difference between this box and the box that nails into the studs is basically this piece these pieces right here okay now these boxes are specifically made for situations like this if you're moving an outlet in or if you're adding a switch or adding a phone line or a data line or cable or anything like that you could put these boxes in and these flat flaps right here they grab a hold of the drywall so that's what secures the box, okay? So all we have to do first is go to the breaker box and turn off this switch. Come back, take our tester, make sure we got the power off. And all you do, if you remember from the other ones, is you just take the black lead, put it on the black wire, and your red lead, put it on the white. It doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. You can switch it either way. And touch them. And we got no juice. Okay? Boom. Also, get in the habit of touching the screws. But if you can also touch the wire, touch the wire. Because something may be happening in there that you're not. it's not allowing the current to flow through the screws and you may still get zapped. Highly unlikely, but I've seen stranger things in the world. Okay? So, better safe than, uh. So, we got no juice. So, what you gotta do here is just take your Phillips screwdriver and you remove your wires. Take your wires off. Okay? Place your switch off to the side. Now, you gotta take your box. Pick a side to make one side up or one side down. Now, if your wire is coming up from the floor, then you're gonna wanna pop one of these holes back here on the bottom. But ours is coming from the top, okay? So we're gonna pop one from the top. Not only are we gonna pop one from the top, but our wire is hugging more of the left side of the wall. So we're gonna pop the left side uh, hole. So you just take it, take your screwdriver, pop it. Usually I have a pair of pliers here with me, but nobody loves me that much here. Okay. Push it in there like such. Give it enough room for the wire to go through. Okay. Grab your wires. Again, this is why you make sure the power is off. It's because they're going to touch. Just kidding. You know I got to do that every time I'm messing with electricity. Okay. Feed them through. One day the Lord is going to shock me. 
Okay, now this is where you gotta, you kinda gotta muscle it in there because you probably don't have that much slack in your wire, okay? And then you feed your box back in the hole like such, okay? Now, usually when you have pliers, you can just reach in here and pull, pull some more down. Let's see, we don't have a lot of slack to work with. So this is gonna be a tight, tight, fit so all right now all you do from this point is you take your screwdriver or screw gun okay and you just start screwing this screw and what it's going to do is see how it's tightening it down on there now you do have to be careful okay because you don't want to tighten these down too much because you'll pop the drywall, okay? But you do want to tighten it down just enough that your box becomes snug like that. Not tight, just snug so it won't fall out. And then you just reconnect your switch can put your switch back in the box let's see if I can do it here without having to run and go get the pliers nope I'm gonna need the pliers so we're gonna reconnect this switch and we'll be right back okay so we've got the switch hooked back up and we've got it secured to our box our box is secure the only thing we have left to do is put the faceplate back on, but before we do that, we're going to test to see if everything's okay power-wise. So we are going to go flip the breaker and come back and test the switch. So don't go nowhere. Okay. We flipped the breaker back on and it didn't jump right back off. So that's a good sign. All right. So we got power back here. So let's see if the switch still works. <laughs> see, I get y'all every time. Both people working the camera jumped. Every time. Every time. So, and there you have it. So now all we got to do is put the magical... The magical face plate back on slides right on there like that and just start to the, start these screws with your finger boop, 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 boop. now I'll probably have to I ain't no probably about it I'm gonna have to come back here and fix the drywall around it at a later date but that's a later date That's a project for another time. Right now I'm just getting this on so that way my little girls don't get shocked when they're turning off and on their light. And there you have it. That's how you change out the switch box, light box, outlet box, conduit box, electric box inside your wall. If you had to pull the old one out or if you're just adding a new one in, that's how you do it. Like I said, we'll come back and we'll fix, fix this drywall here on a later date when we get done with the bathroom and any scrap drywall I have left over, I'll come back 
and patch this and I'll show you guys how to do that at a later date so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you found it informative and like always thanks for coming by the Big Bear Homestead and have a nice day mm -hmm.